What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech. It's the digital age, it's 2020, and if you don't have one of these keys on your keychain, you're doing something wrong. This is a two-factor authentication key. It's a FIDO key, meaning that you need two factors to actually log into your account. Factor one being your password and factor two being this key. Google knows a lot of information about us. Gmail holds a lot of information, probably more than we'd want. And the same goes for Facebook. The same goes for some other sites. If you use Dropbox, you kind of want to keep whatever you've uploaded safe and secure. But these keys, the YubiKey, now the brand new 5C NFC is probably the best way to do it. Ever since my account was hacked, my Gmail did get hacked and someone went in and kind of changed all of my passwords for my banks, for my eBay account, believe it or not, and they actually tried to do some damage. Thankfully, they didn't. Ever since that day, I've picked one of these keys up and it's always been on my keychain. Well, I upgraded a couple times because I use multiple devices, because I actually have a bunch of devices that I log into, and I also log into friends' computers and whatnot. And that's probably where my password was compromised because a lot of people don't really maintain their computer. Key loggers can get on very, very easily, but that's another story for another day. I picked up the Yubico 5CI because, well, it has the lightning and it had the USB-C. And with this little adapter that I purchased on Amazon, it also meant that I could use this on legacy computers, meaning that this was the only key I had to carry. But me being Jabber Tech, I actually like contactless. I like the fast tap and go type of solution. So I also had the 5 NFC on my keychain just because I'd rather just tap than insert. You see I have cases on my phone. It's just an extra step, one little step I know, but I didn't really want to do that. I like the tap and go solution. So for a couple months now, I've had both of these keys on my keychain. Well, I can put these in the closet. I can get rid of these keys and I can just use the 5C NFC now. Because it has NFC, has USB-C, and I am gonna keep this little adapter with me so I can use it on legacy computers. No matter where I go around the world or what device I encounter, I'll be able to log in, I'll be able to verify myself with the 5C NFC very easily on every device that I encounter, whether that's a Mac OS, whether that's Windows, whether it's Android, whether I'm using someone's iPad, whatever the case is, I can use my key on that device. So this is a great investment, no matter what device you pick up in the future, I'm sure it's gonna have NFC, that's gonna be around for quite some time and so will USB-C, but let me tell you more about it and let's check out the YubiKey together. What you wanna do is go into the settings option of any account that you're trying to add this key to. Once you're in the settings tab, there's usually a tab that says security or it sometimes says security keys. Find that option, click on it. Once you find the security key option, all you have to do is click add new key. Click on that button and then it's going to ask you to insert the key and then just touch it physically. Your Yubico key will start blinking, it will start lighting up. Just tap on it and then this way you'll be able to add this key to your account. The next time you log in with a new browser or a new device, it's going to ask you to verify yourself and you'll be able to use your brand new YubiKey 5C NFC to do that. All you have to do in this case, because it is NFC, just tap on the back of the device it's going to verify, it's going to say everything is good, and you'll be able to log into your account using your Yubico key. If you don't have this key, it's not going to let you in. You're going to, you're going to get an alert that someone tried to access your account. So lastly, you can see that it fits very nicely on my keychain. There's no issues with this just sitting nicely on my keys. And the best thing about these Yubi keys is that if you do happen to lose it, nothing is stored on the actual device. So no one can just plug it into their computer, plug it into their phone and get access to all of your passwords, all of your sites because nothing is physically stored on this key. That's why I always recommend these keys. Some of you might be wondering, why would you choose this over getting a text message or over using an authenticator app? But we don't always have access to the internet if we are traveling, if we are overseas. Sometimes we just won't get those text messages or those text messages could be quite expensive. So you don't wanna do that. Someone could get access to your SMS code, plug it in and then, well, get access to your sites. But with an actual key, with an actual physical Yubi key, you actually have to plug this in or in the case of the NFC, just tap it on a device to verify that you're actually there. That's why I like these keys personally, and that's why I always think the investment is well worth it, just to have peace of mind. Trust me, when you've been hacked like I have, it's not a good feeling to have to change all your passwords. It's not a good feeling to have your bank call you up and ask you if you tried to do a wire transfer overseas. It's not a good feeling to go into your eBay account and see that someone's actually made purchases, although they weren't able to pay because I did have two-factor authentication for PayPal. So at least that saved me with that purchase, but it's just not a good overall feeling. 
So for me, the cost of this is well worth it and it's something that I've been using since that happened. I always recommend these keys and I can definitely recommend the 5C NFC just because it is a future-proof type of key. You have USB-C, you have NFC. What more do you need for any future devices? Well, we don't know that yet, but I'm sure Yubico will have us covered when we get a new piece of tech. But for now, this is top tech. This is something I recommend. I really appreciate you watching and I'll catch you guys in another video.